Do you know the difference between green and red money? Tony Hansman is joining us this morning to tell us about that. He is the president and CEO of Guardian Financial Advisors out of Rogers. Tony, good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Let's talk about the difference between green money and red money. What are each of those? Okay, when, I, when I'm talking about green money and red money, what I'm referring to is, is green money is uh, what I call your I know so money. This is the, your money that uh, is guaranteed. If you put X amount of dollars into a financial vehicle, it's going to guarantee you a certain rate of return at some point in the future of time. This is your CDs, your treasuries, your fixed annuities. It's guaranteed money. Your red money, though, is, is your I hope so money. This is uh, money that uh, you hope will go up and not go down. Your stocks, your mutual funds, your ETFs, your commodities. And so um, you have to have a nice balance of both. So what is your advice to people uh, in terms of how much you put into green money versus red money? Sure, terrific question. In your 20s, 30s, and 40s, you're going to have a large portion of your portfolio in the red money, which is the ETFs, mutual funds, stocks, and things like that, the, the, the risky stuff. You have time on your side. But as you get older, your 50s, 60s, and 70s, you're going to be replacing money from the red into the green, more of that guaranteed type money. The problem is that we see with people in their 50s, 60s, and older, that they're not doing that. They're still taking a lot of unnecessary risk. And when we're saying that, especially when you are getting to those ages um, and you're not seeing them do that, well, what risk factors does that bring with them then? Well, you know, like I said, it's just a lot of unnecessary risk that they don't have to take. And um, ho hopefully you have a chart down there that you can pull up, but I, I brought one that a lot of people are, are moving from red money to green money. The bottom line, that red line represents the stock market over the last 10 years. And you can see from 2000 to 2003, the stock market went straight down. It took five years, Ashley, for that stock market to come back. In 2008, we lost almost 40% of our money in the stock market. And here we are in 2012, just trying to get back to even. Now, if you look at the blue line, it represents a fixed indexed annuity. That is green money, where people are shifting their assets to these days. And you can take a look in the first three years how that line is level. It didn't lose a penny when the stock market was down. When the stock market was up, it had gains. You got to receive a, 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 a portion of the upside. But in 2008, when we got slaughtered in the market, you can see your blue line, it stayed flat. You didn't lose any money. And this is huge for retirees um, in their 50s and 60s looking for a stream of income or protecting their assets. And lastly, take a look at the black line. This is the curve that shows that's going way up on the, on the top there. This is what we're adding riders to. This is an income rider, which is going to grow at a guaranteed 5, 6, or 7 percent um, that you can't get in any other types of funds. You can take this income in retirement over a period of time and never outlive it. I tell everybody, if, if you want a guaranteed retirement, you have to have a guaranteed account. Well, that does make sense. For those that are early on in their portfolios and they've got a lot of red money, what's your advice to them in terms of where they need to put it? Terrific. You know, you have to just be actively involved with your, with your portfolio more than you ever have before. If you're younger and you have a lot of um, red money, get your arms around it. Look at your monthly statements. Look at your quarterly statements and challenge your financial advisor a little bit about the risk versus the reward he's taking. I see a lot of people, even at that age, taking way too much risk when, when they can really have a lot, what we call a less standard deviation, take less risk and get the same or greater rates of return. Just be actively involved in the account. Okay, that makes sense as well. What about those that are 50s, 60s, and 70s and maybe have not moved their red money to the green money just yet? What's the biggest thing, what's the number one thing that they need to do tomorrow? I tell you what, I, I can't stress this enough. Get off the couch, take action, because what happens if you don't is you wait too long and then the market corrects itself and then, then it's too late. You, you've taken too much unnecessary risk and you only took action because now your, your, your portfolio is way down. Come see us, give us a call before that happens and start getting guaranteed types of returns versus taking that unnecessary risk. That's what they gotta do. Nobody wants to lose money, especially when you're in <laughs> retirement or you're almost about to be in retirement. Well, like Tony was saying, they certainly want to help you out, and we're going to show you exactly how you can get in touch with Tony. He is at Guardian Financial in Rogers, right there on Horse Barn Road, Suite 101. If you're, if you're very familiar with that area, you can also call him 479 268 
1-800-242-4463. Or you can log on to TonyHansman.com. Again, he is the president and CEO of Guardian Financial Advisors out of Rogers. Joining us this morning, green money versus red money. We have learned a lot, and thank you for being here this morning. Thanks, Ashley. You're welcome. This is 5 Sunday Morning. We'll be right back.